Hey everybody, I'm going to do a quick Bible study on how to put on the full armor. I'm going to explain what the full armor is. I'm going to break down each part. I am going to read scripture and then we're going to pray that God puts on the full armor onto us and our family members. We need to be having this applied to us on a regular basis. So let this be something that you pray to God about on a regular basis, not just once and then not again for a while. No. Make sure you pray and ask him to cover you and your family in the full armor and name off anything that that you, that you want him to block off. That's what you do. So we're going to start off with prayer. Dear Lord, I just want to thank you, Lord. I ask that you speak through me, Lord God, to your people, Lord. May this help someone. May they realize their power as your child, Lord God. I ask that you cover each and every person who hears this. And I ask that you penetrate their spirit and increase their capacity so that they're able to take in this information. This I say and pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. All right, guys. So the full armor of God consists of six different parts. So the first one is the breastplate of righteousness. The second is the shield of faith. The third is the helmet of salvation. The fourth is the sword of the spirit. The fifth is the belt of truth. And then the sixth is the gospel of peace on your feet. So I'm going to break down piece by piece, which what each one represents, because why ask God to put it on you? and You don't know what it's doing for you or what it represents. OK, so. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to read from Ephesians 6 verse 10 through 18 and then i'm going to break down everything and then after i break down everything about what each part means we're going to pray for that armor for our family members and then we're going to go to bed because i am supposed to fulfill a duty and i'm going to do just that so i have to make sure that when i'm supposed to put something out i put it out all right so ephesians 6 verse 10 through 18 Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand, stand firm. Then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted in the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace in addition to all this make up the sh take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of god and pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests with this in mind be alert and always keep on praying for all the saints okay so that was Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 through 18. So the first one, I'm going to explain what each piece represents. I'm going to start from head to toe. So the first one is the helmet of salvation. The helmet of salvation protects you from any mind attacks that the enemy tries to throw at you. Any kind of depression or anxiety, any kind of mental illnesses, any kind of bipolar or anything that has you not being yourself and something able to take over what whether it be you blacking out anything like that so it protects any kind of attack that has to do with your head that's what the helmet is for so the next one is the breastplate of righteousness now this has to do with your morals this is your moral compass this is what you stand for what you believe in what we know is right and what is right and what is wrong is wrong that's what that's what the breastplate of righteousness does. It's protecting you and it's making you stand on all your morals. This represents your morals. And the next one is the shield of faith. The shield of faith protects you from any attacks from the enemy. When the devil tries to bring you down, make you feel some type of way, put thoughts in your head, come out and just whisper something in your ear, something of that sense, that is to protect you from any attacks or schemes of the enemy. The next one is the sword of the spirit. Now, the sword of the spirit to me is one of the most, it is the most important to me because it is the word of God. It is every scripture. 
It is every scripture that he that he tells you what you're doing, what your inheritance is, and what you and that and letting you know that you are an heir of the Lord God Almighty. That's what it's doing. It, every single one it tells you about what you are entitled to as a child of God, what you can and can't do as a child of God, the power and authority that he gives you to tread over scorpions and serpents, and that nothing will harm you. That's what, excuse me, that's what the sword of the spirit is. The belt of truth is just that. You're standing on truth. At the end of the day, Jesus is king, okay? And can't nobody tell me otherwise. That's standing on truth. I'm standing on truth. Not what the world wants me to think. Not any of that stuff. It's the truth of what I know. I know what I know. Jesus is king and he's coming back. So get right. Now, the last one is the gospel of peace on your feet that's you going out ready to make disciples in the world you going out and preaching the gospel and telling people about jesus christ because that is your duty as a child of god that's our duty as a child of god okay so now that you know what every piece represents now that that's done let's go ahead and get into prayer real quick go ahead and get in your stance where you want to receive covering where you want god to to open up and and, and give you everything that you ask for so go into a posture of receiving okay you just go into a posture of receiving lord god i thank you lord god i thank you for this quick lesson that i gave i ask that you touch each and every person i ask that you cover them lord god with your with your grace and your mercy lord god i ask that you increase their spiritual capacity i ask that you give them wisdom lord god I ask that you give them knowledge to, to 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 accompany that wisdom, Lord God. I ask that you dress each and every one of us in the full armor of God. I ask that you touch each and every person in our households and cover them in the full armor of God as well, Lord God. We thank you and we love you and we glorify you, Lord God. There is none like you. There is none like you. How sweet is the name, Lord Jesus. We thank you so much and give you glory, Lord. We give you praise in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I want to thank y'all for this time that y'all took out of your busy day or night to learn, to feed your spirit. The more you feed your spirit, the more you grow stronger. Your spirit man is what's more important about being strong than the outer. Because once the spirit man is strong, it shows on the outside. Okay? You guys take care and you be blessed.